case. I know there isn't a lot of light left for this, but hey. Uh, as I said in an earlier video, my friend Karen uh, got me a present. Ten pounds of polyfill, so... I'm going to try some of it out tonight. I still have a little light to see what I'm doing by here. I'm not going to get a lot done with it, but... I'll try putting some of it in one of the doors back here and see how that goes. The rest of it, probably from the home base. You can pull things out of the van, get at some of the interior walls and stuff. But now, see how this does back here. So I got these openings in this uh, door here, so I'm going to try putting some of the polyfill in that. See if it makes any difference overnight. Probably not going to make anything noticeable, but that's the hell. Ooh, that's popping right up, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's see. Biggest concern here on this door here is this thing here sticking into it. But we'll see what happens. It's part of the experiment. If it doesn't work, we'll take that stuff out from around that area. That's puffy. Puffy, puffy. And then we're going to cut out a, a board to put around this door here keep the stuff in. The other door still has its original plastic panel on it, so I'm not going to touch that one. Well, I'm not sure how far I've stuffed this in, because we got the door mechanism over here too. I don't want to interfere with... Well, this stuff shouldn't interfere with it too much anyway. I should be able to push right in there. Actually, oops, I've got the camera. Doesn't interfere with that stuff at all. Perfect. Okay. Well, lots of fluff on here. <laughs> gonna have to, like I said, we're gonna cut out a, a board. We do have the original plastic piece that was on there. That I wanna. I don't need the speaker slot or anything. So I'm gonna cut out a board that's uh, like one sixteenth inch uh, plywood. Then cut it out to the uh, template of the other thing and fit it over this. It'll look a whole lot nicer. Okay, I'm going to work on some of the uh, inside areas that, uh, at least the ones I can reach, these big holes back here. <laughs> I'm going to do it a whole lot. I said when I get the van back to the home base, then we'll start worrying about some of the uh, harder to reach areas that require getting around furniture and stuff. It's easier to remove the stuff from the van later. I'm going to try to get as much stuff into these spaces as we can. Apparently this goes right around the corner too, I didn't know that. <laughs> these edges are sharp too. Ah, be careful of that. Yeah. Those areas down there have to be reached from outside, so I'm not going to try to do that tonight. Just do what I can from here. And over here. I'm scratching myself on the sharp edges. Well, I think I've insulated about as much as I can in here with uh, <laughs> what I can do out here. I got some up in this space, I got this all filled in up here, got that side filled in, that door's filled. I don't know how much you can see of that over the mess, but you know, the door's all filled up here. Well, it's all going to try to fall out on me, but it's in there, so I think I've gone about as far as I can uh, here. So when I get back to, like I said, when I get back to the home base, we're going to try to get in at all the walls along the sides here and there and fill those in and pull the panels off a couple more doors and get those stuffed full. And 
should help considerably get the van a lot warmer and we gotta get the rest of the panels up on the roof including getting this part, part all filled in here I can actually feel the difference too when I, I put my hand over here I can feel it's a lot colder than when I put my hand over here so it, it, it does help even just one layer uh, I did have to glue this panel back on this one fell off overnight luckily I brought the glue with me so we got that we got some of the insulation done anyway so now we got to get this stuffed back in the box to bring it back home again Puffy. Puffy, puffy, puffy. Very, very puffy. There we go. There. All back in the box again. It's trying to creep out. <laughs> We're going to put it back up in the front seat and uh, it'll be ready to go home. No, I'm still not insulating any of the front of the van. Well, those blankets are, that's going to be a, a wall with a door on it. That's the plan. And that wall will be insulated too. So so that's what I'm going to be working on uh, as we go. But one of the other projects i got to get to is this kitchen counter. That's going to be, I think, my next big build project. Because it would be nice to have that set up correctly. Anyway, that's it for this. It's just kind of a quick video there to, to give you an update on some of the uh, insulation here while I'm actually camping at Hancock Campground. So we'll catch you in the next one.